Hey, it's Brian with Team Aquascape. And yes, you read that title correct. 1.4 million at the over 50 projects installed. Now, that might not seem like a lot, but you wait until I go over what we built. We are gonna build a pondless waterfall. The best way to learn anything is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. What a year, 2022. It was crazy. But before I get into the craziness, let me say one thing to you. Happy New Year. What an awesome, awesome year it was. You know, cheers. If you guys were all here, I'm sure we'd have a party or something together. But it was crazy. It was an exceptional year. We did all kinds of stuff. You guys want to hear some of the stats that went into 2022? Well, I've got them right here. We did over 52 jobs. Out of those 52 jobs, four of them were fountainscapes, 20 of them were ponds, four pond additions, which just means add on to existing customers or existing ponds. We did 20 pondlesses and four rec ponds. And rec ponds are big, big projects. The ones that are the two, three, four part series that you guys all watch through. Those are the ones that are a lot of fun. While we were doing all of that, we also had pondemonium. We had all of our travel jobs and travel jobs this year took me all over the world. We were collaborating with different YouTubers all over the country. All on top of building 52 plus some projects. So when I think of doing a whole year end review video, I've got to think like the beginning of the year to the end of the year. And that means January 1st all the way to December 31st. But before we get into what we did in January and February and March, let's get into the fun part of stuff and go back to some of those very first projects we did back in June. But first, let me explain why this year was actually possible. Come on. So, Back in 2021, I was on fire, right? Pat myself on the back. <laughs> Any consultation I went on seemed to be selling, selling, selling. Remember, it was COVID time, and so everybody was staying at home. Everybody wanted to turn their backyard into their own vacation paradise. So we were selling projects left and right. In fact, not did I sell out all of 2022, but I sold out a huge portion of 2023. So as we started looking at the calendar, it was like, oh my gosh, anybody that wants a project built by Aquascape is gonna almost have to wait to the end of 2023, almost into 2024. And that wasn't acceptable for us or our customers. Nobody wants to wait that long to have their dream backyard put together. So a bunch of creative minds came together, really the pond guy, our president, Colleen, Jeff Payton, our VP of business development over here, and a little bit of myself and said, hey, why don't we tap into the CAC network, the Certified Aquascape Contractor Network that we have put in place all over the country. These are some of the top builders in the entire world and they live in California and Texas and Rhode Island and Louisiana, you name it. We've got certified Aquascape contractors out there and we knew they weren't quite as busy as we were. So we said, why don't we invite these guys to come out here? We'll pay them. We'll put them up here at the building and we'll let them come in for a week at a time. And I think in the back of my mind, the back of Colleen's mind, even the back of Greg's mind, we thought maybe two or three would sign up per week. But what happened is over 10 contractors a week were coming in to work with us. It was hectic, but it allowed us to do one thing, run two crews simultaneously at the same time. And so by running two crews at the same time, we were able to take all of those 2023 projects and lay them right on top of the 2022 projects and build all of those projects this year. And so thank you, you certified Aquascape contractors, all you collaborators for coming out here and helping us do that because you guys are the ones that made this year possible for us. For your viewers, let me show you a little bit of what the CACs had to go through on a daily basis. So every CAC that came here, and you remember there was on average 10 a week starting in June, came up this same flight of stairs, turned this corner here, and were introduced to their temporary new home. Now, I know it was challenging for us, but imagine leaving your home and coming to this place for a whole week with all the unknowns. Where am I gonna sleep? What am I gonna eat? Where am I gonna eat? This is where they slept. And of course it's locked. Hold on. <laughs> It's green. So they got a code just like I had here. And this was their sleeping quarters. Huh? Right? Can you say college dorm? <laughs> So I'm sure they were a little shocked because they didn't know. And they came in and they're actually extremely comfy beds. 
and the beds are the memory foam, so it wasn't terribly bad. Imagine coming in, you finally figure out who's getting what bed, get in here, get comfortable, you say it's not too bad, until 9.30, 10 o'clock at night, when you start hearing this guy snoring, and then in unison, this guy snoring, all over the sound of this guy playing video games on his iPad. It was definitely like a college dorm. So just because of the sleeping conditions alone, you guys, I applaud you for putting up for that for a week. Other than that, it couldn't have been too bad, right? Hopefully they learned as much as we learned from them. Come home every night, they had choices for dinner, but they also had a very cool place to just kind of decompress. So let me show you what I would call their family room. They'd enter this room and they'd be able to hang out and share notes and stories on what went on with their job or their job. So thank you one more time to all you certified Aquascape contractors for making that happen. So when I think about when the collaboration really started, it was June 1st. And that first project of the year is always super memorable for me for a couple reasons. One, it's the first project of the year. I've been waiting all winter, all spring to get back out there, get the shovels in the ground and start creating again. So I was super, super excited to work on this project. It was also memorable because it was gonna be our first collaboration with all you certified Aquascape contractors out there. We didn't know what to expect and you didn't know what to expect. The third reason it was always going to be memorable to me is because what the customer called it, and you guys remember this, it was the forever pond. This guy wanted to build his forever dream pond. He said him and his wife never vacation. Why would they vacation when they could build a vacation type resort in their own backyard? Now, we know this, and I don't know if you guys know this, but after doing this for 27 years, pond people, pond addicts, will go through about three ponds in their lifetime. And he he was on his third pond here. So he wanted to make sure we nailed it because he did not want to do a fourth pond. So we added another stream, we added a wetland, we added another pond, we had multiple bridges, we did all kinds of jets, making it that forever pond so he would never, ever, ever, ever have to redo it again. So by the time we finished that project and we got a big high five from the customer, we did a bunch of other projects. Piddled around here with this pond, this pondless, this fountainscape, and then all of a sudden it was July before we knew it. And then what I remember most about July is something that we hadn't done in a long, long time. We built six projects in five days. Come on, we'll go walk down memory lane. So yeah, the week where we did six projects in five days. I remember working on that sand beach pond. You guys remember, it was the one where the cute little kids, it was the pond that they wanted for their kids to swim in. It's, in fact, you guys, any of these projects I'm talking about, if you can't remember, check out the link below because you can watch it over and over and over again. But that project was going on I was finishing up that Chris was working on a small pond just after that he did two pondless waterfalls Jack was working on a stream addition actually extending a current stream to a longer stream and DK did a fountainscape again none of this was possible any other year but this year and it was because of those CACs remember to do six ponds in five days means you would need an extra day right because you can't do two ponds in one day but because we had those CACs in we were able to split off and divide and conquer. Oh, I'm already exhausted and I don't even think we're through a quarter of the year. So let's take a break. Let's go back and think about all the things that we did here at Aqualand because that was daunting enough. So to begin, we start by our seven by nine foot pond. Luke's Goldie Pond is what it's been named now. We completely renovated the space. If you remember, there was two separate ponds here. So we totally wiped those out and came up with a brand new design, really trying to show customers the lifestyle of what it's like to sit by a pond with a patio coming right up to the the pond with the gentle soothing sound of a waterfall and a little spillway bowl in there. And I love Luke's goldfish. Check out these guys. Hey, I love Team Aquascape and all it has to offer. <laughs> so that was one project. We really gave our entire store a complete overhaul. We put these fences up in here to give a little bit of privacy, helping with that lifestyle. We added the tree alliers, which was recycled from an old flower and garden show. We came over here, we removed the set of three spheres, which I regretted at the time because I think the spheres are so cool, but I was so proud of the waterfall that Chris and the rest of the guys put together. And this waterfall is awesome. You can see we have the green and the red lights and we're just getting everything seasoned up right now. We came over here, gave this pond a complete overhaul, added some slate down in the bottom, got rid of a skimmer box, did an intake bay. We added this brick wall right here because we've been doing this on so many of our projects nowadays and I really wanted to show customers when they came into our store what the brick wall looks like. Fix this patio because some stuff underneath it was rotting away. I know Jack and Jack rebuilt this waterfall. Love it. It's so, so cool. 
again, the most amazing thing about this waterfall is look at the height of it. That waterfall is about this high. This much of a slope, you can create that. Come down these stairs, over here to where our spillway walls were. We had an old deck that was stained, looked bad. Came in here with a synthetic deck option, brought in our fire rock. It's looking incredible. Just absolutely love it. After we finished all that, we went all the way back to the Sandbox Studio. Come on. Ah, uh, you guys remember this place. This place holds a special spot in my heart, the Sandbox Studio. So many things have been created back here. Some magical, magical things have been created back here. But last year, the guys were actually given a daunting task, build a DIY pond kit with only the products in the pond kit. Not the way we do it outside in the field where we can steal driftwood and we can add liner and add more waterfalls and add different pumps. They had to build a gorgeous looking pond with what was ever in those two boxes. After that, I could tell they they had so much fun doing the pond kit, we had them do the pondless kit and they knocked it out of the park again. So because of that, then we had them do the fountain kit. So they built three projects in here all before we had Joey all the way out from Canada send us his design. Now remember, this place was originally designed for all of our past artists of the year to come up with whatever design they wanted to and show off their talents. Well, Joey didn't get the opportunity to do that, but he did figure out how to get me the design that he came up with in my hands where we could come back through here and build that. And I feel like right now I'd be standing on a bridge looking at spillway bowls to my left big wall to my right kind of zigzagging something like this I come over this way over here was all those crazy spheres with flames and everything coming out of them big giant urn with a huge aqua blue waterfall. Remember that was the first time we used that big eight foot urn. It was a super, super cool design and it was so much fun to build. Thank you, Joey, but thank you guys too for watching and tuning in. After that, I think we went back outside, so come on. <laughs> so at this point, you guys are probably wondering again, how did we build 52 projects this year? How did we get to over 1.4 million, especially with doing all of that stuff inside? Well, that's nothing compared to what this thing was. This project here took us over a month to build. Remember this was was that wreck pond that I'd been dreaming about building for so long. So we spent the entire month of August doing this before Pondemonium. So by Pondemonium, all those contractors could come out here and see what a wreck pond looks like. And for us, it was super difficult because it's not what we normally do. Clean lines, very formal, very architectural looking, but I still love it. And even now in the cold of winter out here in December, it still looks pretty cool. I will tell you this, it's not looking at its best, but it looks better than any swimming pool I've ever seen in Chicago this time of year. I don't see a blue cover over it. I don't see things shut down. It still looks alive. In fact, I can still see the aerator running through the window over there. While this was going on, we also had a super special project going on in the front of Aquascape. Come on! So you guys remember this space? Remember? Move that bus! <laughs> it was so much fun and we brought in all of the past artists of the year to build them a tribute to themselves Which sounds kind of weird, but it was a vision I had had for over a year coming up with these big eight-foot urns Not to just give them their own special place, but to really give us a new entrance This is our international headquarters and when you pull up to the place it has to say Aquascape and now it does those big urns let you know you're at the right place So this turned out better than I could have ever ever imagined and one of the key things if you guys remember when we came up with the design of this place was to put a big enough tank underneath it to let it run all winter now it just got warm the last couple days and when i say warm it's like 35 degrees so it's not crazy warm but when it gets down below 30 degrees the ice that starts building up on this is insane and i can't wait to show you guys that right now I told you that was cool. In fact, all of Aqualand is pretty cool in the winter. One of the things we really focus on with so many of our projects is giving our customers the option to make them winter running. Just increasing that aquascape lifestyle throughout the entire year. And those ice castle formations are insane. But one of the features we actually shut down for the winter is our lily trough. And you guys remember this. What a huge long process this has been. I can remember, gosh, a year and a half ago, it feels like, where crews from Crux Long came out here and we 
we shared with him the vision of building this thing. He came out, it was definitely in late December. He put in all the walls and everything else. We got our liner in and then it just sat, right? And it sat and sat and sat. And one of the things we didn't think about was the circulation that needed to happen. The other thing we didn't think about was how are we gonna put tropical water lilies in here and get that water warm enough for the tropical lilies to sit in. So sometime in I think April, yeah, I think it was like April, we put those big greenhouse hoops over the top, which actually heated the water up just enough. So by water garden weekend, we had our tropical water lilies ready for sale. And then we realized that we need that circulation. During pandemonium, we put a whole pumping system on it where we did an intake bay down at the one end, a wetland filter down at this end, gave it kind of that aquascape look with the waterfalls and the big natural boulders. And then we landscaped out along the whole backside. So it's definitely been a work in progress, but it's such an awesome, awesome addition to aquascape. So that was our last project outside. I'm thinking like, what else would I talk about in year end review? Oh, I know. We did that one down in Ohio, Putin Bay. We did that stream in Kalamazoo, Michigan. You remember the interactive stream for all the kids? We did Stanley the Dirt Monkey. We did, we did tons of them. You know what? And instead of me just kind of babbling on and on and trying to figure out all these different projects, let me just do it this way. Let me talk about some of the more memorable ones that we did. First thing that comes to mind is that California fire pond. That fire pond was insane. And not just because of what it was for, actually putting out forest fires that would encroach on the guy's house, but the sheer volume of work that got done in such a short amount of time. Now, Jack Harju from Atlantis Water Gardens and I have done tons and tons of projects together. But when we do, the one thing we notice is we work very, very efficient together. We set over 2,000 tons of boulders out there. And then how can we not forget Laura Cleary? Collaboration of CACs, Artists of the Year, coming together to build Laura an insanely beautiful waterfall down an insanely hard access area, right? It was so cool and the authentic reaction that she had and how much enjoyment it gave to her son was absolutely amazing. Always love when we were able to give back and put a smile on somebody else's face and ensure that they're living that aquascape lifestyle that we all know so well. Speaking of collaborations, another one I did was with Ralph Bezad from Pondscapes AZ out there in Arizona. So again, Jack, Ralph and I teamed together to build Keith and his family an unbelievable water feature. Not just build him an unbelievable water feature, but inspired him to become a CAC himself. He loved that water feature so much, he decided that why would I not want to share this with everyone everybody else he knew in Arizona. So now he is a certified aquascape contractor doing exactly what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. Oh my gosh, how could I forget this one? The Arms Family, Arms Family Homestead, Dan Arms and his son. Such an incredibly memorable project. And I say memorable a lot because to me, that's what matters more is the memories that come out of these different occasions. But memorable because the weather, it was so crazy hot. I think we went through like six cases of water we built them an amazing pond and I know their son Houston is enjoying that thing more and more every day. The other thing I know is they want to add on to it. Like I said they would. Oh my gosh. Winter retreat. Three projects going on simultaneously. So Chris was out there. The rest of Team Aquascape was out there. We all conquered and divided. Chris was in charge of a fountainscape. Ed built that crazy otter enclosure which was just so awesome. And then I had the daunting task of switching a old sleepy swim pool into a functioning ecosystem pond. I think what I remember most about that is just the, the camaraderie and everybody coming together to build something memorable for three different families. And how could we not forget the Texas pond, right? Again, I think there was two visits on that one, three visits on that one. I don't know. We went back several times out to Frisco, Texas. And for our customer of the year, Mr. Matt, Mr. Matt, big shout out to you. Hospitality off the charts and really just let us do what Ever we wanted and when that happens we can build some amazing amazing stuff so just like we had nine different projects right can you believe we even had time to build projects here for local customers that live in the Chicagoland area it does seem like one one crazy year so are you guys as tired as I am <laughs> um ah, and actually I'm not tired I actually love the challenges the more and more stuff that can get put on my plate the better I am it's actually when there's not a whole lot going on I get a little complacent and I always say ah there's always tomorrow when stuff like this is just packed onto my schedule over and over and over again I've always had this sense of urgency and so it's always been let me tell you this it's never been boring here at Aquascape <laughs> right that was 2022 
2022 year end review. I can't wait to see what 2023 is gonna bring. And if 2023 can be half as exciting as 2022, I know it's gonna be a super special, awesome year. And I know already what's on the books for 2023. So you guys get ready, hang on tight. 2023 is gonna be incredible. Hope you guys enjoyed 2022 as much as I did. Again, happy new year. You guys are the best. Look forward to seeing you in the new year. Bye.